Hi, I'm Sharon, and this is episode 331 of the Knit Style Podcast. Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode 331. So, as you can see by the title of this episode, I have been a little missing (laughs) this summer. So... I titled the episode Where I've Been, and um, the good news is I'm back. I should be back now, at least recording. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, for every two weeks moving forward, maybe every week if I get my act together. But I'm going to just briefly touch on why I haven't recorded or I haven't been dying yarn, really. Um... And I'm not going to tell you exactly what happened because I just don't want it out there on this video forever because these just stay up. So if you're interested in more details of what what went on with me, um, I'm going to put that in my Instagram stories tomorrow. And that will be up for 24 hours and you can watch it and I'll talk about it ad nauseum. (laughs) And if you're, if you really are inter- curious, because I know I would be if I was watching this, if you're curious and you don't feel like watching Instagram, send me an email, Sharon at knitstyleyarns.com, and I will let you know what's been going on. So, as a general tale of what's been going on, I've been under the weather, and it's not life-threatening, it's not cancer. Um, It's just a condition that I needed to get the correct medication for. And I did that. It's a long story. But I have the correct medication. And I'm feeling much, much, much better. I am not 100%. Um, It's going to take a little more time for me to be 100%. But in comparison to the last time I recorded an episode, which was mid-August, that episode, you can't really tell from the episode, but I could barely hold my head up. <laughs> it was bad. So, um, this has been had been going on, and I was unaware with what was going on. So, I've been slowly getting worse. Um, it started probably at the end of June, beginning of July. started... My legs got really tired when I was trying to work out. Anyway, I'll go through the whole thing on Instagram tomorrow. Um, So I've been ill for like eight weeks. And when I got on the correct medication, it took a a month for me to start feeling sort of normal. And I'm about 70% normal now. Um, And it'll continue to get better. And I'll be fine. It's something you need to manage forever, and um, yeah, and it's it's going to be fine. It's, you know, lots of people manage with it, and I am too. So, thankfully, it's nothing, like I said, it's not cancer. They check me for cancer. I don't have cancer, so that's good. <laughs> so, let's move on from that, and unfortunately, I... <laughs> I barely was able to finish these um, Dark Thirteens, and I didn't know why. I was so zapped, um, and I I would dye them, and then I'd be exhausted, and I'm like, why? I, I, I'm the Energizer Bunny. I'm never tired. So, let's move right in <laughs> to Shop Update. I... I think the last time I dyed yarn was probably mid-July when I finished these up. And um, they sat for a while before I could wind them. I wound them, and then I recorded, and um, I was able to get those out to you guys. And we still have some left. So here we go. Here, these are my, this is a kit. It's called Dark 13. It includes a gorgeous shawl. Um designed by Amanda Manis and we Amanda and I started working on this last spring before I got sick <laughs> and yeah 
so anyway these are some of the minis they're very pretty they're dark and gorgeous and I love them and there's 13 of them and Amanda's beautiful pattern is included and there's also a witchy bag that's included And yeah, they're for some reason they're not showing up great today. I'm not really sure why. I have the lights all set properly. But yeah, they're dark. They're definitely very dark. So But they're they're rich. They're so rich in color and the shawl is so beautiful. Um and yeah, I'll pop in a picture of them also. So I have, I have a bunch of them left. If you want them, go grab them. I am very happy with how they came out. 13 minis, a bag, and a free pattern, which is super fun. Okay, so we have that. And I decided this week to try my hand at dyeing yarn. And I'm happy to report that I dyed yarn and spent the normal amount of time dyeing yarn that I would normally do and I felt great and I had so much energy after I was so happy because I love doing this I love dyeing the yarn I love recording this show and promoting it I love talking about my knitting with you guys and I missed it a lot so the first thing I wanted to tell you before I showed you any new yarn is I'm having a sale in my shop. So pretty much all of that yarn is going to be on sale uh, for the next couple of weeks. And if you use the coupon code FALL, F-A-L-L-2-3, FALL23, you will get 20% off. Um, you know my older skeins that have been in the shop newer skeins that I'm going to show you today they're not included in the sale um, the dark 13 not included in the sale but if you want hue tint and shade that's been in the shop for a couple of months yeah that's included in the sale so use that coupon code fall 23 and get 20% off also, you can't combine that with free shipping, so it's one or the other, so do your math. And yeah, let's show you what is new. Oh my goodness, you guys. We have the most beautiful bag and yarn combo this week. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Look. Here's the bag. It has, like, books and you know potions and crystals and magic and I love it and the yarn matches really really well super happy there's so many colors in these skeins because there were so many colors in these books so it was a challenge because usually I only do like three I think there's like five colors in here Maybe more. I don't know. A lot of colors. And I love it. The name is Dark Academia. Do any of you read Dark Academia? I tried. If it's fantasy, I just, I can't get into it. I've tried some of them. And I just, I just can't. But I know a lot of people love it. And that's, that's awesome. I'm more into realism <laughs> in my books so when I die here and I listen to books and what did I listen to I can tell you right now what I lis listened to while I died this I am listening this is my audible account I'm listening to Tom Lake by Ann Patchett narrated by the one and only Meryl Streep sidebar have you all been watching um, only murders in the building season three 
she's in it. She and Martin Short must be having a must have had a blast filming that. Oh my god, it's great. I I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. So um, yeah, so Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. This is the first book I've ever read by Ann Patchett, and she's she's an excellent writer. And I'm on chapter. I don't know. Chapter six. I'm on chapter six out of 21. And I'm not really sure the point of this book yet. <laughs> I didn't really read the synopsis. Um, it's told as um, she's telling her daughters a story of her life. And you get little bits and pieces throughout the book along with what's going on in her life presently. And it's good. It's a little slow to start, though. <laughs> but I like I do like it. But it's not like, oh, I need to I need to go and listen to that again. Oh, I can't wait. It's kind of like, what am I listening to? Oh, yeah, that book. <laughs> so I'm waiting for something to happen. I mean, I read a lot of murder mysteries, so nothing like shocking has happened yet. So I'm waiting. <laughs> maybe, maybe something will. I don't know. So. Maybe we'll do a little book talk from now on. I'll tell you what I've been listening to while I die yarn. I do not read physical books ever anymore because I, ha I love listening. I would prefer to listen because my mom used to read me books, stories when I was young, and I developed that skill. I have very good, I have a much better auditory memory than um, a reading comprehension memory, if that makes sense. Um, I learn really well through the auditory channel and remember things better. So I've stopped reading physical books because I'll read them and then I won't remember them. <laughs> and I just, just, I don't have time because I'm constantly have yarn in my hands or cross stitch. And so I can listen to books or podcasts, um, and do other things, which is what I do. So let me know. What do you do? Do you do a combo? I completely have stopped reading physical books. I, I don't even know if I would be able to pick one. I probably would, but it's like I much prefer listening. Okay, so that is a dark academia with a little sidebar for book talk. And... I could not let the fall season go by without dying Slutty Pumpkin. So I'm going to have Slutty Pumpkin in the shop also, as well as my Dark Academia. And I needed a skein of Slutty Squash, so I dyed that as well. So Slutty Squash is a little more brown. And this slutty pumpkin is definitely more like orange. I mean, this is definitely has orange tones, but it also has brown overlays, whereas slutty pumpkin is brighter. And I love them both. So I have them both in the shop. And I have a new color for Halloween. I don't know if I'll get to dye any more Halloween. I mean, these... These were labor intensive. These dark 13. Wow. Those took me such a long time. It probably felt worse because I wasn't feeling well. But this is witchy purple. So I basically took all my purple dye. This is how I dyed this. And I speckle dyed yarn. I took every shade of purple that I have <laughs> and I just layered the sh the purples and I love it because purple's my favorite color in case you didn't know and this is witchy purple and it's beautiful. It has it's got so much depth to it. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of speckle. And I love it. 
Okay, so that was shop update. Let's talk about what I've been crafting. Now, I have been crafting a lot. Luckily, I did not lose my knitting mojo. I picked up a lot of crochet mojo. A lot. I've been crocheting a lot. Um, I finished the baby blanket and gifted that. I went to the shower. My daughter drove because there's no way I could drive to Pennsylvania and back in one day. And she drove and she, she did a marvelous job. I wouldn't have been able to go to that baby shower for my husband's granddaughter's baby. It's going to be born next week. Um, my husband's going to be a great grandpa and she's having a little boy and his name is Brian. And um, I was able to go to the shower, which was very important to me. Um, you know, family is very important. So it wasn't easy. <laughs> it was not well. <laughs> but I made it and I just sat. <laughs> so, okay. Let's talk about what I've been crafting. So first and foremost, uh, let's talk about crochet. Because like I said, I finished that baby blanket and she loved it. it. That came out really nice. And I'll just pop a picture in of the blanket or the partially finished object. Um, and I wanted another one for me. So I dug deep and found all my scraps. And I've, all, I've been working on a granny stripe blanket and I'm almost done with that. I didn't bring it up here to show you, but I'll show you next time. Um, I think I only have like 12 inches left on that and I'm gonna work on that as well. But this bag is full of scraps. A lot of it's my hand dyed yarn. I mean, I have bags. These are minis. I mean, I just finished that Stephen West sweater. These are, this was like a mini club I was in for a while. Back before I was dying. And I just have pounds of scraps. So, if it's a DK, I'm just holding it. You know, so I'm making another, uh, what's it called? I think it's like a, uh, hold please. Okay, so this is the Wavy Crochet Blanket by Daisy Cottage Designs. And this is what I made for the baby shower. And I made these exact colors. If you watched the last couple shows, you would have seen it. So... All I needed to do to make it a bigger blanket was I did a little swatch and um, I did math. So I, I didn't want a baby size. I wanted something that was like a throw size, maybe a little bigger than a throw. It's, it's definitely not a twin. It's just a throw. So I think I cast on 180 some stitches and here it is it's super scrappy which I absolutely love so if it's DK I'm holding the yarn double with a beautiful gray mohair and I have a whole bunch of mohair that I'm going to dye because it eats up so much yarn. So it's going to probably take another four skeins, I'm thinking, of mohair. Um, silk, mohair, silk, but look. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's going to be warm and cozy. So if it's fingering, I'm holding it double. So here. I'm holding two colors double for this row, or these two rows. And it's perfect. 
It's absolutely perfect. I have so much fingering yarn. I can just pick two colors, hold them together, and it looks amazing. And the mohair softens it a lot, so it doesn't look so scrappy. <laughs> Not, I don't care. It's fine. It's good. When it's done, it's just going to be stunning. Well, it's, it's stunning now. And I love working on it. I am using crochet hooks are elusive. I've already misplaced it. I'm using a fat crochet hook. I don't know. I'll put the size down in here. So, and I'm a loose crocheter. It'll turn up. Wait, here it is. <laughs> I'm always looking for my crochet hook, always. Okay, so this is an eye, a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for this blanket. And it's just nice. I don't have to think about it. I can just crochet, 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 and love it. Okay, so that's been fun. The other thing I picked up was, I'm on a blanket kick, for sure. Um, I picked up this beautiful project. So I started this last year with my three of my solid Halloween colors. This, this is the Anthology Throw by Helen Stewart. And you can um, do this out of minis. It's written for 24 minis. Um, as a, no. It's written for, I think she wrote it for 24 minis, but you could, the amount of yarn is equal to 12 minis. So if you wanted to make this with dark 13, you could. And I also have one, oh, here we go. I have one um, pack of Hugh, Hugh Shade Tint, Tint Hue Shade, and my friend Susan is making that out of Hue Tint Shade, so this is also in my shop right now. So, I picked this up again, and I'm almost finished with the slutty squash color. I needed another skein, which is why I dyed more. <laughs> So I just have like 10 more rows with um, this color and then I'm putting in this color. I forget the name of this one. Anyway, so I color blocked it instead of using minis and I love it. I love working on it. Again, mindless and so fun. Um, and then I told, I talked last week or last time I recorded about the Stoker sweater and it was really hurting my hands. I think a lot of it had to do with, I was sick, <laughs> but, um, I've decided I just don't like knitting with like a heavy, like a thick worsted weight yarn or Aran weight. I, it's just not, not fun to me. So um, I sent that yarn out, and one of you lovely listeners is going to um, knit that for me. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm sad not to be able to do the color work on that, but that's fine. So I was just kind of looking around. I wanted to cast on a sweater. Every time I come up here, I have a bag full of yarn from my Humulus sweater that I frogged last year. And I was wanting to start that again. Now, this is a light worsted, so it's not really bothering me as much as the uh, Let Lopi was. So I wound it up. Look at this color. This is my favorite color, <laughs> this light gray. I love it. And this, this is the called for yarn. It's from 
Faroese Islands. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's from the Faroese Islands. I was not going to waste this yarn. I absolutely love these colors. So I recast on Humulus. So I, when I knit this before, I knit it way too large. And the neckline was huge on me. It was horrible. Um, I'll put a picture of it in here. So this time I cast on like three sizes less. So I cast on a size 41 and I cast on less stitches for the neck and it should be okay. Should be fine. I hope. Um, and I'm loving doing this color. I just started the color work and I'm obsessed when I knit this before, this was my first color work sweater and I, w and I didn't have the floats long enough and it was pulling and it looked terrible. That's another reason I frogged it. But now they're perfect and I love, I'm, I can't put this down. I love it so much. In fact, my poor crochet blanket has gotten ignored because I just want to knit on this. So I'm also on a color work sweater knit kick. I just want to knit all of them and I have yarn for a lot of them. So yeah, I'm going to be knitting a lot of color work sweaters. So this is Humulus by Isabel Kramer. Um, I lost 20 pounds and yeah, I wasn't trying, but um, yeah. So I, all my sweaters that I knit, when I was less weight, like five years ago, when I was still working, I was less weight. They fit me now, which is really cool. So I should be able to wear sweaters more of this. The other thing I've been working on when I'm at doctor's appointments and then when I'm watching TV with Rich are socks. So I cast these on. Oh, I think I talked about these last time. So this is Lego Batman by Mustache. And I used the wrong size needle, and I didn't realize it. I think I was using a size 1.5, and they were huge. So I ripped them out. I ripped it out, and I recast it on. It's so pretty. So I'm using a 1. 1 is pretty much what I like to use. 0 is just a little tight. I used to use zeros all the time, but my gauge must have gotten tighter So because I'm using 1s now. So I just have a quarter of a sock done. And then Mustache had um, yarn that she put up on Instagram. And I love her yarn. And I could not resist this color. I think it's called Campfire. Look at it. It's like fall in a skein. And I could not resist. So I cast this on. I'm halfway done with the first sock. I love it. It's beautiful. And I still am not done with these. This is ridiculous. I think I have I have the kitchener left on the on this sock. And I have oh no. Okay. I have one sock completed. This is mustache in the Not All Who Wander Are Lost. I have the Kitchener. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm putting these at my desk because that's where I do Kitchener. And I'm doing them tomorrow morning. And then I'll have a nice pair of socks. Another nice new pair of socks. So that's all I've been working on. So, I'm going to end this a little early. I don't really have another segment of anything else I want to talk about today. I just kind of wanted to catch you up. I, moving f forward, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still going to be dyeing yarn. I'm still going to be recording this show because I love it. Um, I went, I actually, believe it or not, I did my very second design I've ever done. Um, I finished it really quickly in July. Donna test knit it for me, and she's so fast that I felt like I had to keep up with her. <laughs> and 
it's finished. I just have to write it up. And I'll be dyeing yarn to go with it. It's a holiday pattern. It's beautiful. I love how it came out. It's simple. It's not, it's not going to be hard or you don't have to think about it. It's again, just my pretty, most of it is mindless with a little interest thrown in. Um, perfect for the holidays. It would make great for you or a gift. So I did not have the energy to block it. I have it done. I just haven't blocked it yet, but I'm hoping this week I'll get it blocked. And then, yeah. The only other thing I wanted to tell you was um, I am taking our son, Troy, to Disney World the first week of October. This trip has been planned for almost a year. Um, he loves Halloween, and this is his belated graduation gift. He graduated in 2020. We wanted to take him to Europe. I'm afraid to go to Europe. I don't want to travel out of the country. <laughs> um, you know, being not my s former self. So Disney's perfect because it's, we're on the East Coast. It's a two hour plane ride. It's super easy. We're DVC members. So I'm taking him uh, the first week of October and um, it's just Troy and I, Rich, are going, and Rich and I are going in December. And I'm really excited because now I feel better. I was afraid I might have to cancel, but I don't have to because I'm much better and I can handle it. Um, so I probably won't have a show for the next, I want to say, three weeks because we're going the first week of October and then um, I'll be back that second week. So hopefully I I'll, I'll can dye some yarn and I don't know what I'm going to dye because Halloween's going to be there here. <laughs> Um, but we're going to Mickey's Very Scary Halloween Party. I'm really excited about it. It's a great party. He probably would prefer Halloween Horror Nights, but you couldn't get me there. Even, you couldn't drag me there. I'm not into horror. I like fun Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> so, so I'm really excited. We're going to have a nice trip. So we're only there for four days. Oh, it should be cool. And Rich is going to be home with Jamie, and then we'll go again in December. So that's what's been going on. I just wanted to catch you guys up. I'm getting back into everything slowly. If you want to know what's, look, the details, watch for my Instagram stories. This should come out e probably Saturday, so watch for those on Sunday. And if you want to email me, I'll tell you the whole thing. <laughs> okay. I hope that you all have a great couple of weeks and I will be back in a few weeks um, and knit something beautiful and cheers!